after high school, I went to um, college at the University of California at Irvine. And so I was giving it the best that I knew how, and I was still not uh, performing at the level that I needed to. Um, I remember my sophomore year of college, I started consuming heavily um, because at the same time as my grades were you know, plummeting, uh, my porn consumption was rising. And my answer to coping with all the stress and uncertainty was watching hours of pornography every day. Yeah, there's a story where I was basically like, I came back home from class during the summer at like 3 p.m. and I started consuming and I didn't stop consuming until like six in the morning. And I saw the sun coming up and I was so tired and I felt terrible. Um, But that was like my reality at that time. To be honest, uh, I was always hoping that my problem would magically go away and that I could tell people about it in hindsight and be like, yeah, I used to be and now I'm not. And so I could be this hero to people. Um, But that did not happen. Yeah. because there was a lot of healing that had to happen. And a lot of that had to come from like, transparency. I started writing like Instagram little story things about my experiences. And then I started writing blog posts about it, sharing about my experience. And the ironic thing was, it felt like I was putting the carriage in front of a horse because I wasn't done yet. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't completely healed and, and all good, but I started talking about it. And I think that really changed my own recovery journey. And I'm not saying that you need to, but for me personally, I think it was a huge part in my recovery because then what happened was a strange thing where all of a sudden I was getting these random responses to these stories from people who I hardly knew anymore. And they're like, hey, thanks for sharing that. Uh, I struggle with that too. And it means a lot to me that you would talk about it. 